Hey, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. And today I'm working on a Kawasaki, a uh, little Kawasaki generator. Uh, just set for a long time. Uh, the guy said before he put it up, uh, it was running sporadically. He couldn't keep it running. Uh, but since it's set for a while, the carburetor got kind of gummed up. The fuel line rotted off of it. The gas tank was kind of funky. But I got the gas tank cleaned out. The carbs cleaned. I got new fuel line on it. Uh, but it has, it's old, it's got points in the condenser on it that were hidden down here. The points are hidden under this little plate behind the flywheel and the condenser was mounted over here. And no matter what I did, uh, the points in condenser, I just couldn't get them straight. And I work on points in condensers all the time, but these are, I guess the points are just burnt and the condenser may be bad. Uh, but I quit messing with points in condensers a long time ago. Uh, a lot of times you can find just an ignition, uh, electronic ignition coil that doesn't need points in condenser. And throw the points in the condenser away and just put a new coil on it and you're good to go uh, but some of them you can't find a coil like that uh, so to get rid of the points in the condenser on machines like this one i buy one of these little things this is called an elect, uh, little ignition module and it takes the place of the points in the condenser and i've put these on everything Riding mowers, I hid one inside a chainsaw one time because the points in the condenser on it were bad and I couldn't find replacements. Uh, so I mounted one of these, they're tiny, I mounted one inside a chainsaw. I've used this little thing on all kinds of things that use points in the condenser to get rid of the points in con the condenser. And they work great. And they never come back, I never have a problem with them. And you can see here this coil, there was a spare hole right here in this coil. So I mounted it right there behind that leg of the coil. And the ground wire that comes off of here, uh, they're real simple too. There's one wire uh, that just goes to ground. This little terminal right here, it just loops back around to a little eye fitting that's grounded underneath this screw. It's mounted on here with this. And the wire, the single wire that used to go to the condenser and the points, you cut it and it goes to the other terminal. And that's all there is to it. You just need to mount this thing somewhere that's grounded and you're done and your points and condenser take your points in your condenser right here and throw them in the trash and you won't have any more ignition problems and so i got this one hidden right here once i put everything back on here you won't even be able to see it uh and they're about 22 dollars for this little thing and i keep one in my shop uh because I, I use one like every i don't know three or four months uh but these things are just great this one it says stands on the box and the part number, the stems part number, is right there, 440-465. But when you get the stems box, it's actually inside this little box. And it's funny, no matter what company you order this thing from, it comes in this box, inside whatever box <laughs> the company you ordered it from. So I guess the same company in Taiwan makes this thing for everybody. And it actually has a little sheet, if I can find it. There's a little slip of paper that comes in it. It's tiny. And that actually shows you how to wire it up for a negative ground or positive ground. Uh, just about everything you're ever going to see is negative ground. So it shows you right there how to wire it up. It's ridiculously simple. It don't take a minute to put it on and you're good to go. But anyway, I like to show people that. It's a nice little trick to, to deal with points in a condenser. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.